I'm Fiona Burnett from SRUC and we're here at SRUC's bog hole trial site just to do a run through of the crop health issues for this season. We're standing beside the winter barley at the moment and winter barley clearly is coming up to harvest now, beginning to ripen off nicely. And really it's about thinking about the varieties that you might be drilling for next year and the seed treatments as you begin to order in seed. The crop has had really quite a good time of it throughout the country they're looking well, very low levels of disease. The one here has a low level of mildew but nothing that will take much off yield at this time. Winter wheat crops have had quite a good time of it this year so a nice mild winter um, but then we had that dry period where disease it dried up um, but then we had quite a cool spell with kind of cold winds so we've seen at this point the crops are now flowering um, quite a lot of uh, damage to the flag leaves and uh, some ascochyta coming in, which is quite unusual. So little bleach lesions, which we think relate to that wind damage as well. Really not that much that can be done about that at the moment. Um, a few issues in the crops now as well with rust and septoria coming through um, where there's been slight gaps in programmes. But the really key thing now, we're tending to be at flowering in the crops, is those head sprays, so trying to manage any fusarium or microdochium risk. And crucially, uh, as well, doing your mycotoxin assessments so that we can uh, judge any grain that's going into the, the food trade um, or the food chain um, is, is risk assessed for that mycotoxin. So clearly it's rainfall um, during flowering and during ripening that are the really key drivers of that. And we're still strongly on the azole-based uh, fungicides to manage those ear diseases and hopefully manage any of that foliar disease that's there as well. We have got some crops with yellow rust out there, so adding in some additional uh, strobilurin or SDHI might be useful, but pay careful attention to whether you've used those before in the crop because both of them have a maximum of two applications to any crop. Spring barley crops are now coming up to ear emergence and booting, so really excellent timing for that T2 fungicide spray. Most of the crops are looking quite well and have come on very nicely. A few of the early drilled ones are a bit thinner and patchier, but they're, they're coming away now. Mostly crops are quite clean, although a little bit of disease is creeping into some of the crops that might need later management. But really the key concern at the moment is how bad Ramularia is going to be this year. So at the moment, very few uh, signs of it, which is encouraging. But the main thing we'll be doing at T2 is really trying to reduce that Ramularia risk. And at the moment we're reliant on azole fungicides, so either the Prothioconazole or the Revastar um, azoles. So those are the two um, pieces of chemistry, those two easels that we're reliant on for managing the disease. But where we've got other disease coming in, you might um, wish to mix in either a strobilurin or an SDHI to try and keep a lid on things like rhynchosporium and net blotch. And the other piece to think about is in terms of managing Ramularia, we're trying to de-stress the crop. And in that context, adding in pit could be useful just to reduce that Ramularia risk. So using it in support of the other chemistry.